As I've continued to travel the world, speaking to youths from different nationality, different tribes, different gender, religion, and orientation, I've come to realize one thing, that a lot of our youths out there have got a dream. Either a dream of being successful, a dream of being happy, or a dream of living a fulfilled life. But this is the interesting thing, most youths have got a dream, but most of them haven't got a plan. You see, a dream without a plan is only but a wish. It is one thing to have a dream, it is something else to have a plan. Because without that plan, you cannot achieve that dream. Without a plan, you cannot achieve your mission. If your mission is to be successful in life, then you've got to have a plan as to how you want to achieve that success. Someone once said that failure to plan is planning to fail. So are you actually planning to achieve your dream or are you subconsciously planning to fail by not having a plan? Here's the kicker, that you have a plan in life doesn't necessarily mean that the dream has been achieved. That you have a plan in life doesn't mean that your plan will go according to plan. Because we know, being that it is common knowledge, it is common experience that life happens. And when life happens, things sometimes go wrong. But the interesting thing is, when things go wrong in life, you don't have to go with it. The greatest strength of humanity is its ability to adapt. We know that there are living things that have gone through planet Earth that have failed to adapt and have gone on extinction. But yet as humans we are still here on Earth because we have mastered the act of adaptation so that you have a plan and your plan isn't going according to expectation then you must be willing to reinvent yourself and readapt. If the dream is to be successful in life and the plan is to go to school and be educated so you can get a good job and you find yourself struggling with your grades then you must be able to readapt that plan if the dream is to get a job and be successful in life and you graduate there you are in an economy where you can't find yourself no job then you must be able to reinvent yourself and readapt that plan if the dream is to be happy in life and the plan is to achieve happiness through a stable relationship, a stable family and there you are nursing heartbreak, going through divorce, then you must be able to readapt that plan and reinvent yourself. You cannot give up on the dream, on the mission just because the plan is failing. You see, a lot of times in life people become so loyal to the plan that they lose focus of the mission. The goal is the dream. The plan is only a route to get into that dream, to get into that mission. The people who go on to living their dreams in life are the people who are able to reinvent themselves at every given time based on the demands of life. It was Mary Keller who once said that the beauty about life is that when one door closes, God always opens a window of opportunity. But the problem with most people is that they stay so focused on the closed door that they do not see the windows of opportunity that have been opened unto them. Are you loyal to a door that has been closed? Are you loyal to a plan that isn't working? I want to leave you today by saying this to you. It is necessary that you have a dream in life. But it is important that you have a plan that will get you towards achieving that dream. And it is more important that you are flexible enough and willing to reinvent and readapt your plan so it remains relevant towards achieving that dreams and goals you've set up for yourself. Be it being happy, being successful, or living a fulfilled life, it is very important that you're flexible enough because it is not about the plan, but it is about the mission. It's about the dream of being happy. It is about the dream of being successful. It's about the dream of living a fulfilled life. Stay focused on the dream. And remember, the plan is only a pathway towards achieving that dream. And if that pathway isn't going smoothly as it should be, then be willing to carve out a new pathway towards achieving that dream. Because the people who go on to make it in life, they seek opportunities. And where they can't find one, they create one. Because we do not go where the path may lead. We go where there is no path and we leave a trail for others to follow. That is who we are. 
when we stay focused on the dream, it doesn't matter what obstacle that comes our way, we are able to reinvent ourselves. We are able to carve out a new route towards achieving that dream. As you meditate on that which you heard today, it is necessary that you share this with someone in your cycle of friends because this may just be all they need to hear to help them refocus on their dreams and mission in life.